Harjo Alonso and Luke Walker start in row two. Angel Navarro, Anthony Lopez, both furniture row cars start row three. Igor Barreto, Jonathan Fast, row four, and PJ Williams and Dylan Thoreau round out your top five. As you take a look at the rest of the starting order, you can pause the video to see where you start here today. Zach Fitzwater, our winner from Charlotte last race, starts 35th. Going to be tough to follow up his win here at Char from Charlotte last uh, race. But we could see another new winner or we could see a, a race winner already going back to victory lane again. Here we go, the tricky triangle. Both stages will be 10 laps. Pace car comes down pit road. It's going to be an exciting weekend here at the Tricky Triangle Pocono Raceway. And the green flag comes out in the Pocono Green 400. It looks like Kyle, oh no wait, not Kyle, sorry, um, Tony Green, I should say, got a good start. Coming down turn two. Sometimes it's a tough turn for that reason. They're going to hit the wall often. Very tough turn to navigate. The All these turns are very tough. There are only three turns in this track. Very, very tough track to master. So we'll see who will come out on top after all this. Tony Green off to a pretty good lead right now. Arjun Alonso moves up to second place. He won at Brist. Uh, he won earlier at Bristol this season. Igor Barreto won two races so far this season. Today could be his third win. More drivers scraping that wall. It's going to be really a challenge for these guys. Here comes the six. And here's Barret and here comes Alonzo leading. Now Navarro is up to third place, could go for second. They're side by side for second, and they get uh, Navarro. Gonna get green. Barreto's fourth. And now fifth place goes to Dylan Thoreau. Look at Barreto get a run. Oh, one car sliding into the grass, and that was Grayson Acevedo. And he saves it. What a save by the 27. I saw him slitting in the sliding in the grass. Close call there. And Jonathan F and Jonathan Reigns is up to fifth. Three white for second. Barreto trying to get the advantage. DeRoe goes down low. We'll see if he can make something happen. Down the wall. And Barreto wins that battle. PJ Williams off pace. There you see 13 is already off the pace. Six to go in stage one, and surprisingly, no cautions. It's been a vast improvement of the previous races here at this track. Previously, it was always a wreck fest. But now there's more longer green flag runs than ever before, and these guys have more time to battle under green. Turn two is probably the toughest for these guys to conquer. Yet somehow able to stay racing. Here comes Jonathan Reigns. The two Jonathans in the top five. There's Reigns and Fast. And now 
Alonzo's continuing to lead here today. And Josh Crash has done pretty well as well. He's up to fifth. Could he go for fourth? Looks like he might get fourth. He's got it. Fourth place goes to Crash and could be a battle for the lead here. Oh, wow. What a block by Alonzo. What a block there by the six. And the caution comes out. Barreto spins near the start finish line. Barreto's just spun out and Ferdinand Gabot was involved. What happened? Oh, I think he might have had it some. Oh, no. He was in the wall. Yeah, he was in the wall. And then. I don't know. Whoa. I think Goldberg got pushed up into the two. And the two spun out. Oh, Gabot's hit. Gabot's a hard, a hard hit on the 47. And those two are out. Oh, look at the 13 going way too fast. Uh, wow. Almost bumped into 14 there. Going a little too fast. And Johnny Garner has damage. Was he caught up with the two or was it another incident? I think it was. Yeah, it was caught up with the two. Yeah, he hit him in the two. He hit the two. And Garner, tough break for him. Wow, we could get two two more laps here at Pocono. Garner's out. He is out. Barreto's out. I think Gabba could be out too. Oh, we're getting back to green already. Oh yeah, two caution laps only in this track for whatever reason. But Thoreau leads. Got a great jump. He leads. And Josh Crash is up to second. One more lap here in stage number one. Here at Pocono. The row right now in front. Can he hang on for that playoff point? Oh, three wide. They're getting real tight. Leia Walker. Josh Crash, there's the 88, that's Ethan Sale, turn two, in the wall is Thoreau, and Leia Walker right now has it, but will she hang on for one more turn, here comes Sale down low, this is for the playoff point, here we go, who's gonna get there to the line, it looks like it's Leia, it is Leia Walker winning stage one in a close battle. Oh my. Leia Walker. What a run. Able to beat Sale to the line in stage one. And let's see how close it was. Yep, that's how she got it. Leia Walker has won stage one. Wow. That was close. That was real close. Hopefully we get a finish like that here in the race itself. Ten more laps are going to be heading your way here at Pocono. And hopefully that finish will be the one we see here this season. Here's the rest of the field. How they uh, dealt, by the way, here at Pocono. And three cars are out of it. So those three are not going to race here in the next stage. And when we come back, we'll have stage two f here from the Tricky Triangle. Alrighty guys, we're back here in stage number two from Pocono Raceway. Ten more laps decide who wins here in the Tricky Triangle. You saw Leia Walker beat out Ethan Sale for the stage one win. We'll see how the rest of this race will go down. Gonna have ten laps to go here at Pocono. Who's gonna win here at the Tricky Triangle? Green Flag is back. Up. Seventy two is off to good start now. Here comes Crash though. 
Alonzo, by the way, was in the back mostly, and he led most of the laps in stage one. So we'll see if he can do it here in stage two. Now the 10 machine is going to be trying to squeeze his way to the front, and there's drivers in the wall again. Able to, but they're able to save it. Oh, Alonzo, a little bit in the grass, crashes in the wall. Crazy start to the stage, and Alonzo leading, battling with John Mendez. Mendez is your new leader. Ethan Sale trying to give Hedrick a win. It'd be the second he'd be the second driver to win for Hedrick this season. Of course, Zoe Anderson was the first in that five car. Three white battle in the back. And John Mendez hangs on for now. And now Jonathan Reigns is in the wall. And he loses a lot of positions. Here comes the six machine. Alonzo trying to get the lead back. And Alonzo is the leader again. Led the most laps today. We'll see if he can hold on to win. Ethan Sale now runs in second place. And he's going to try for that lead. Mendez is too high, and he's in the wall. Julius Anderson is now in third place. Oh, no, James Richardson is in third place. That was Anderson's old ride. <laughs> Richardson trying to win for the second time this season, and so is Alonzo. Ethan Sale trying to win for the first time this season. Could win in the Exalta machine, which has the Exalta 400. So, that could be fitting. Oh, oh man, Mendez nearly got turned in the back. Able to keep his car going. Six to go at Pocono. And Ethan Sale wants the lead. And Ethan Sale is going to get the lead. Here comes Richardson. Both winners, by the way, running second, third. And fourth, by the way, if you count um, Zoe Anderson. So winners have are taking three of the five top five spots. Oh, no. Gilbert's in the wall grass. Gilbert was in the grass, and he hits the 13 in the wall. John Gilbert was in the grass, and he's able to save it. What a remarkable save for the 41 machine, and now a battle for the lead. And the 11 machine, Richardson, is back in front. And Zoe Anderson's caught up with the pack. Gonna try for third place. More drivers of the wall. Oh wow, Fitzwater nearly turned on that corner. Sales in the wall. That might end his chance to win there. Four to go for James Richardson. Zoe Anderson in second, trying to win for the second time this season. Same for Richardson. And same for Fitzwater, running in the top five. Jefferson now going second. He gets the second spot. Sale was hard hit in the wall there. He nearly spun. A lot of these drivers nearly get turned, and they save it. Wow. Wow. We get another caution. It's going to be overtime here at Pocono. Three laps to go. It's going to come down to 
Richardson against Jay Jefferson. Now Cody Smart runs fourth. Could Smart make a move? Here we go down to turn two. Oh, M Matthew M. Dev, it looked like he was going to get a pass on the 21, but not yet. Now the 11 takes the lead. And we have a caution. How about that? And Jefferson leads us to the yellow. Wow. Tony Green spins. Brings out a caution. It'll bring overtime here at Pocono. Here's the caution, by the way. Lopez and William Brock spun out and wrecked. Anybody else out? Doesn't look like it. But Jay Jefferson will lead us back to the field. And could have sworn Ethan Wicken. I don't know what, what happened with him. Uh, but don't worry about it. But anyway... Everybody's still able to race for overtime here at Pocono. Two laps decide who will win this race here at the Tricky Triangle. So stick around because overtime is coming up. Alrighty guys, we're back here with overtime from Pocono Raceway. For those of you that don't know, here's how it's going to work. We'll have two attempts to we'll have two laps, I should say two laps to attempt to get a clean green flag restart. If the caution comes out before the white flag is out, we will have another attempt. But if the leader crosses the start finish line and we stay green, the next lap will be the last lap. So here we go, two laps at least to decide who wins here at Pocono. Jefferson leads us to the green. And here we go. Don't worry, over timeline is going to be at the start finish line, so there'll be no debate who got there first if there's a caution or anything like that. Good start for Jefferson. A little slip up here. Richardson could be fighting back. Here we go again. Oh boy, turn three. Coming to the white flag. Richardson leading. And we're going to the white flag with one lap to go. Richard Richardson leading. Can he hold on? Matthew Mdev trying to get second place from Fitzwater. Could be all that Richardson needs. Into turn two. Here we go again. Oh boy. Here we go. Fitzwater got a run. Fitzwater got a little bit of a run there. Final corner. They're going to go side by side. Here we go. Richardson against Fitzwater for the win. And it looks like the winner is going to be Zach Fitzwater. What a shocker. Zachary Fitzwater has done it again. On a last turn pass, he wins here at Pocono. And a wild finish. Zach Fitzwater wins again. Look at that. He got the pass in time. And the four machine... For the second time in the past three races. No, wait. Wait a minute. Is this the second straight race? It is the second straight race, I should say. So for the second race in a row, Zachary Fitzwater is a winner. Unbelievable. Just like the Penguins going back-to-back -back in Stanley Cups, Zach Fitzwater goes back-to-back -back in wins. Wow, the luck of the Penguins is with him in these past two races. And on top of that, we had a crash in the back at the very last second. Alexander Rowe got turned, and here's what happened. There's the crash. Rowe got spun by Romanuk on um, the 32. 
he crashes out on the very last lap. That must be a tough crash for the 24. But he's alright though. That's what caused the spin in the very last turn. Zachary Fitzwater has done it again for the second race in a row. He is going to victory lane. Wow. He had to do a last lap pass in overtime to do it, but he got there right in the nick of time. Here are the results from Pocono. And uh, here are the rest of the results on the left of your screen. You can pause the video where you, to find out where you're finished. But Zachary Fitzwater had the luck of the Penguins on, the, on his side these past two races. Penguins won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, and now Zachary Fitzwater has won back-to-back -back races here in the Pokemon Cup Series. How impressive is that? Oh boy, Zach Fitzwater. He is definitely going to be one of the drivers to watch out for for the championship. And uh, speaking of four, our next race will be the Drive for Drive 4 Autism 400 from Dover International Speedway. The Monster Mile will host our next race. We'll see if Fitzwater can go three straight at Dover. But Zach Fitzwater, for now, celebrates another victory. His second win in a row here at Pocono Raceway. We'll see you guys later at the Monster Mile from, po from Dover. And uh, here's Fitzwater celebrating another win. We will see you guys at the Monster Mile Dover.